Nothing like prison blue to make you realize the clothes don't make the man, huh? Warden Clark? Me? <laughs> no. Who told you you were going to meet the warden? Uh, no one. I, I just thought... That this was going to be like a prison movie. Put your trust in the Lord, but your ass belongs to me type shit. You know Shawshank. Of course, you know Shawshank. You work in a prison. No, brother, I know Shawshank because it's the greatest movie ever made. Here. What's this? Your psychological evaluation. Why do I need a psychological evaluation? Because the federal penitentiary system says you do. Now, when I get back, if there's a hole in the mirror covered by a Rita Hayworth poster, I will not be happy. Finally. Excuse me? They came and took that thing away three hours ago. I've been sitting here twiddling my thumbs ever since. You are not twiddling your thumbs. You were waiting for me to go over the results of that thing. And the results are you were full of shit. Excuse me? You heard me. I answered every one of those questions, honestly. I didn't say you didn't. Well, in that case, I guess you didn't get the memo. We're in a prison filled with con men. Everyone here is full of shit. And the difference between you and them is they know they are. What does that even mean? It means that they know they don't have the patience to earn what they want. And that's why they go out and steal it from other people. So that's why you left me in here all that time. Just to prove that I have no patience. Evaluation number two, narcissistic tendencies. Oh. The world does not revolve around you. You know what? I don't have to listen to this. No, you don't, because my day is done. And I'm going to go home, pour myself a cold beer while you get settled in cell 42 on the south end of D block. Yeah, I get it. No longer Mike Ross. Just inmate number 53296. No, you are still Mike Ross. But my job is to help you become a better version of him when you leave than when you came in. And if you trust me, it just might happen. Trust you? You came in here before acting like you were on my side. Oh, let's get one thing straight. I didn't act anything. You waltzed in here thinking this was going to be like some prison movie, but it's not. So get that through your head. It's not a movie, brother. It's just prison. thinking this was going to be like a prison movie. But it's not. Ross. It's not a movie, brother. It's just prison. It's just prison. Ross. Did you hear me? Were you going to have trouble your first night? No. Then get in there. One more thing. You're not authorized to leave this cell the rest of the night. Put that down. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch my stuff. Funny, I didn't see the picture jump into your hands by itself. Look, I was just... Relax. I'm just giving you shit. It's my little nephew. <laughs> Sweet kid. Dumb as a box of rocks. Welcome to Danbury. What's your name? Mike. Mike Ross. Frank Gallo. Well, Mike, looks like we're gonna be sharing this little condo for a while, huh? <sighs> Feel like telling me what you're in for? But I get it. You don't know if you can trust me. Listen, the truth is, you shouldn't trust anybody in here. Except I just asked what you did, and they obviously already caught you, so what's the harm? Well, if there's no harm, then why don't you tell me what you're in for? And that could take a while. I don't know about you, but I'm free for the next two years. Uh, careful. See, now you told me how long you're in for. Starts there, ends with you telling me you were born a poor black child. You know the jerk? Yeah, you know the jerk? 
Yeah, I watched a lot of movies growing up. Uh, we watch a lot of movies in here. All right, you want to know my story? It starts long before I did what I did because I was not born a poor black child, but I was born poor, which made me susceptible to wanting to be rich. Jesus Christ. That's the thing about computers. You can delete whatever you want, but it's never really gone. So if you had just stopped one trade sooner, they might never have even caught you. Yeah, I could have stopped five, four, three trades sooner. They still might not have, but how do you know? I'll tell you how you know. You stop when you have enough money to put your kids through college. Yeah. But what college? And what if they want to go to med school? And what if they need a car? And then somewhere along the way, you stop thinking about if they need a car and you start thinking, I need a car. And that's when you get caught. Because whether you want to admit it to yourself or not, you were never thinking about them in the first place. And whether you were or weren't, once you start, you don't stop. That's one hell of a story, Frank. Yeah, well, this is prison. Everyone's got a hell of a story. Anyway, that's enough for one night. I'm gonna go to bed. My story started with my grandmother. She was sick, and she needed money. And I found a way to get it for her. You want to call her? What? Your fiance. You want to call her? What are you talking about? I'm talking about my first night in here. I remember thinking what I wouldn't give to let Jennifer know I was OK. Thing is, I couldn't, but you can. I thought we weren't allowed to have phones in here. Yeah, well, I wasn't allowed to make inside trades either. But I did. And now I'm in here. What else are they going to do? Oh, thanks, but I just, I just can't right now. Whenever you want, phone's right here. Let's try to get some shut eye, man. You might as well tell me what's on your mind. I can hear you staring at the wall from all the way over here. How do you handle it? Being away from Jennifer for so long. Trust each other. Visit each other. And don't ask questions you don't want answers to. That doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be that hard for you. You were only here for two years. I'm here for five more. Jesus. You're telling me. You know, maybe I'll just send Rachel a text. Yeah, let her know that I'm OK. Sure thing, kid. Let's give it back when you're done. All right, let's go. Come on, you got to get out before next shift. They can't know I let you switch. Switch what? I'm in the right cell. I'm in the one you gave me. Yeah, but this isn't the one they gave me. What? You're in the right cell. I'm not. What the hell are you talking about? Only thing I told you tonight that's true is that you shouldn't trust people in here. But you did. Now I know all about you. Why the hell would you do that to me? You said you could have turned on a guy to get out of here, but you didn't because you owe him. Well, I owe that son of a bitch, too. Harvey. Yeah, Harvey Specter. Put me away 13 years ago. I've been dreaming about getting him back ever since. And I read about you in the paper, and I realized I could get back at him without ever leaving these walls. You son of a bitch. Take it easy, Mike. You remember I know about you, and I got your little girlfriend's number right here.